Hello friend, welcome to my channel once again. Today here I am going to uh, discuss about fourth normal form and fifth normal form. This is a part third video of normalization. I already uploaded part one and part two about normalization. That will explain you about first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, and PCNF. Okay, so. I will suggest you just go through that video. I will provide the link in description section so that videos are very helpful to you to understand the normalization. Okay, so friend, if you like my discussion about this lecture, so please subscribe my channel. Also share, comment, and like on this video. Okay, friends. So let's start normalization part third about fourth normal form. Okay, which is also called as four and F. Here, four NF have two rules. That is, first one is that it should be in BCNF means Boise code normal form, and second rule is that there should not be any multi-value dependency. Okay, but if multi-value dependency between A and B means between first column and second column, then B and C means uh, B like a b c so if there is dependency between a and b multi value dependency between a and b there should not be in uh, dependency between b and c okay so b and c should be independent of each other okay i'll explain it here i'll take an example uh, of a uh, you know, online shopping port where uh, we know that there are uh, different companies like LG and Sony which are selling their product like laptop and smartphone through different online port like Amazon, Flipkart and any other okay so this is an example and here we know that an LG company can sell their product through different online port like LG can uh, sell their laptop through Amazon a smartphone through Amazon similarly LG can sell their laptop through Flipkart also smartphone through Flipkart so this is an example here LG can sell in different company so there is a multi-value dependency between column A and B here column A is company and column B is uh, online shop but here we see that there is a online shop and product these two columns are independent of each other means laptop can be a sale through amazon can be sale through flipkart similarly amazon can sell a laptop either a smartphone either a, uh, any other thing so there is no dependency there is no relation between online shop and product okay so this is example here here this table is not in 4 nf okay so what we do here we just split this table into two sub tables first will contain about information company and online shop their company and online shop and lg can sell through amazon flipkart so similarly sony can sell through amazon and flipkart okay here in second uh, second table we see that company and product are defined in this second table lg can sell laptop or smartphone similarly sony can sell its product laptop and a smartphone so this is now the table is in four normal form or fourth normal form okay so friend this is the example of fourth normal form there should be a no multi-value dependency and if the multi-value dependency between column a and b then there should be they uh, the column b and c should be independent of each other okay so this is the example of this one now let's move towards uh, fifth normal form okay fifth normal form also called as project join normal form this normal form also has two rules the first one is the table should be in 4 nf and second one is 
it cannot be further non loss decompose i'll explain you this in example here i'll take example of affiliate member of amazon okay we know that we know that affiliate member sell their product sell the product of a company through different online port here like affiliate member 1 whose id is 1 can sell their product laptop or smartphone through lg and sony company like like affiliate member 1 can sell product a laptop of lg company affiliate member 1 can sell product smartphone of lg company similarly affiliate member 1 can sell product laptop of sony company okay so this is the table for affiliate member now what what we do here if we split the table into two parts like table 1 which contain the information about affiliate member and company why we are going to split this table the simple requirement is we want to reduce the redundancy okay so here we split this table into table 1 and table 2 table 1 contain affiliate member id information and company information table 2 contain affiliate member id and product information okay so we split this table now we know that if we join table 1 and 2 through affiliate member id of table 1 equal to affiliate member id of table 2 so what we find the result here we take a first example like one id of lg one of lg will combine with affiliate member id with these two rows okay these these tuples so one lg one lg will combine with laptop and a smartphone product laptop and smartphone here okay so this two table these two tuples are formed through this single row now similarly one for sony will sell product laptop and smartphone laptop and smartphone okay so this table is formed similarly two for lg lap uh, two for lg laptop and iphone and similarly last one so here what we find here we find that this table will contain the information which is not actually in the uh in the starting table so what we see here one sony smartphone means affiliate member id can sell a smartphone of sony company is that true no this is not true he cannot sell the smartphone of sony company okay so this row is not required but this is create okay so through this join similarly we find Two of LG company iPhone means two sale iPhone of LG company. Two phone iPhone of LG company. No, this is not actually there. So this is also not true here. Similarly, the this row is also not true here. We what we find here? These these three rows are not in an actual table but this is created through the join of these two split table so this is not the perfect result what we actually want okay so what we will do here to act, to get the actual result what we do here we created a, another table where we take two field company and product okay here i have created a, another table which will contain the information about company and product so company is mm, lg and uh, product is uh, laptop smartphone and this one so what we will do here we will take the condition that affiliate affiliate member of table 1 equal to affiliate member of table 2 means we we match these two field affiliate member of id of table 1 affiliate member id of table 2 both are equal and the condition is condition is company 2 of table 3 is equal to company of table 
वन ओके सो कंपनी ऑफ टेबल थ्री इक्वल टू कंपनी ऑफ टेबल वन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टेबल थ्री इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टेबल टू हियर इन दिस फॉर्म ओके सो कंपनी ऑफ टेबल थ्री इक्वल टू कंपनी ऑफ टेबल वन एंड कंपनी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टेबल थ्री इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टेबल टू सो वील टेक दिस कंडीशन नॉट सो वॉट वील गेट एक्चुअली here i'll ex i will explain you if we take affiliate member of table 1 here we will take 1 okay 1 for it 1 for it and product is lg okay so lg affiliate member of t2 there are two affiliate member one and this one two rows for uh, affiliate member one id a laptop and a smartphone so one one laptop and smart phone okay here one lg so for this single tuple two rows are created now what we will take company of table t3 here lg lg is equal to company of table t1 is that lg is equal to lg yes and and there is a condition and product of table t3 product is laptop of product of table t2 equal to so this row is formed like lg and laptop okay we see lg equals to lg and laptop equals to laptop then this row is created okay now second lg and a smartphone L, lg is equal to lg and a smartphone equal to th there so this row also created lg smartphone okay this row also created okay no other row will be created but because sony is not equal to lg and laptop here also okay so only two row will be created through this id now again we will take this row one of sony here we will write one of sony again it will match with two uh, rows so create laptop and a smartphone one of laptop and smart phone here tick okay here one and it was sony and one okay so now not take lg match no for sure doesn't match lg again not match with sony sony here sony and laptop sony and laptop this row is created okay because sony equals to table uh company of table 1 and laptop equals to product of table 2 equals to sony here and laptop here this row is created okay now any other row will be created for it here apple and iphone apple is matching with sony no this is not created so this row is not created okay similarly for uh, another entry what we find here here for two what we find two for lg okay so here two is matching with these two field these two field so what we write here two for lg and two for iphone two for sorry two for laptop and two for iphone here two lg okay now go through this where we found lg and laptop lg and laptop here so we combine here lg and laptop lg and iphone lg and there is no column for lg and iphone so this row is not created this is created now next last one is this one we will take for this 2 for apple 2 for apple okay now this again combine with these two rows laptop and iphone 2 for 
laptop into for sorry iphone here apple to to apple to to okay so this row is extra sorry okay now to for laptop there is a combination of apple and laptop in table p3 apple and iphone so apple and laptop this row is not created apple and iphone this row is created here apple and iphone so what we find here that how many rows are created now one two three and four and five so i'll written here in this way okay so this is the result actually what in the starting table now we find the actual re result of this one so that table is no further decomposed this is the maximum decomposition of that table in table one in table two and t table three these three table are required to get the actual result so this is a uh, what about fifth normal form so friend i hope you understand what i am explaining here so subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my uh, video okay Thanks.